Nick, you doing? Nicholas. How you doing? Good, man. Good who's you, who's out there next to you? Donna. This is Donna. Hi, Donna. Donna. From North Carolina. North Carolina. Nice to meet you, Donna. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> just wanted to know if this was the other me. I did. No, that is the other me. <laughs> <laughs> So we're at the Mandalay Bay today. Swingers. Oh, woo, swingers. The crazy golf club. Hmm. That could be interesting. But I don't think I have ever filmed a video. Actually, I know I've never filmed a video on the Mandalay Bay. And I can't tell you the last time I was ever in this hotel. But we're having lunch today with a whole bunch of awesome people. Here's a restaurant I've never even heard of. It's called Citizens. I'll have to come check this out. I haven't even seen any videos on about it. Hmm, interesting. Libertine Social Gastro Pub. Oh my God, there's all kinds of uh, fun places to check out in here. We could do a whole series on the food just in this hallway. <laughs> Walkway, hallway, whatever the hell it's called. All I know is there's food everywhere I look. Strip steak. Hmm. I'll have to check that one out too. We're late. Joe's gonna get on you because he got here for early. No, yeah, no, that here. yeah, that'll be he the first time he's ever made it early. So. <laughs> today's lunch adventure is the Border Grill. I've never been here before. Should be fun. Good time. Look how many people are in here. It's gotta be popular. I believe there are 24 people here today. We didn't get a last dog had a good time. Oh really? You had a good time? Everybody is here. <laughs> hey you. Yeah. Hi there. Nicholas and Joe, I'll sit on the end. This is Stuart Broxton right here. He's been a subscriber to the channel forever. Garbage can, Oh, yeah, the garbage cam. <laughs> Apparently, Joe brought me something. That is mine. All right, so we're going to have a look at this. We're going to have a look at this one right now. And then Rosie got something right here, too. So let me look. This is what we're looking at. Let me look at it first. Hey, I like that. That's hella cool. It says smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Yeah. That's awesome. And um, there, there's a lot of meaning behind this right here for DZ. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. It really does. Why are you going to try to make me cry at the table? Stop it. <laughs> sweet. Oh, sweet as strawberry wine. That's from the song, too. Yep. That's so awesome. Yeah. That, thank you guys so much. I'll give you hugs when I get up. <laughs> this is the border brunch, and you don't order. They're just going to start bringing out food. Which uh, is a big win-win in, in my book. But I guess right here, you're showing you some of the items that are going to come out. I know the deviled eggs sound good as an appetizer. And see, now the food's coming out. So it looks like we got some, looks like French toast or something like that. Some eggs. They got some breakfast tacos over there. So it's all coming out. Look at that taco in there. Oh, there's more. I'm interested in that right there. Oh, it's El Switcho Changeo. And I'm gonna steal one of these right here. Thank you, babe. That's all I need, just one. And this is gonna be a weird kind of thing today. I don't know what meat's in the taco. I know it has coleslaw in there. Um, it's got a lot of flavors when you bite into this. Mm -hmm. It's also really, really wet. It's very moist. And then I got a piece of horchata French toast. 
and some chilaquiles with uh, scrambled eggs. Uh, whoa, okay, so the chilaquiles are really, really tasty. Mm. It's so good, yeah. The chilaquiles is really good. Mm. It's their um, tortilla chips. Oh. That's all they are. This is the horchata French toast. Very, very sweet. Very sweet. So, pretty damn good, pretty damn good. This is a smoked brisket, basically eggs benedict. And it's not supposed to really look like this, but that's Nick for you. Look upside down. <laughs> <laughs> this is the deviled eggs. I don't know why it's purple. Maybe it's pickled food coloring. How do you dye the whole white part? How do they make the whole white part red, though? That's weird. All the way through? That's amazing. That deviled egg is super, super good. The cilantro and whatever they, oh my God, it is so good. I can't wait till they bring our plate. That's the steak and eggs right there. That looks really, really super good. Look at all this food coming out here. And then they sent out some more deviled eggs, which the flavor on these is just out of this world, it really is. This video is going to be all over the place, guys, sorry. But uh, the steak, which seemed like it had like a fat vein going through it, it was going to be kind of hard to eat, it's not. Mm. It's actually very tender, seasoned really well, comes with some scrambled eggs. Good. I've never had a deviled egg that tastes like it. Isn't that good? That's it, that's it. What'd you think about that deviled egg? I've never had a deviled egg that tastes refreshing. It's really good. It's I, I mean, it's the cilantro they put in there. It, yeah. That's the cilantro just make, just takes it off, man. It's so good. And the steak and eggs have, have this avocado, kind of like a... It's a guacamole, I guess, but it just all goes really good. Yes. They got avocado toast with, avocado toast with salmon coming. Right there. All right, so that's uh, salmon on there. I don't know. I don't know what the white stuff is, but we're gonna we're gonna dig into this. Cream cheese, also covered in cilantro. Joe, you're gonna love this. This is so good. Oh my god! Every time we go someplace where they have a decent breakfast or a, a eggs Benedict of some sort, Joe always orders them. I don't like hollandaise sauce. My daughter loves it. I don't like them. This is a barbecue hollandaise sauce. It actually tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna dig into this, and uh, hopefully I like it. I don't know. Is this the egg? Okay, we're, we're gonna get into this. But it's sitting on sweet cornbread yeah. and try to get a little bit of everything all in one bite so I can um, oh and there's some and there's also there's barbacoa brisket or whatever in here with the egg so we're gonna take this big old ugly bite and see how it tastes maybe all together it'll be good the corn muffin is super sweet um, but if you eat it all together it's actually really really tasty it's, it works, it yeah. Joe Quattron said it, it works, and it does. Yeah. It's really freaking good. And I hate Hollandaise. And these little things right here are their mimosas. So they get a bucket of champagne, and then they get all their flavors right here to pour in their glasses, whatever, whatever they decide they would like to have. I've never seen it that way. Usually restaurants just bring you out the mimosas they already made. The next service has started. This is the Diablo chicken and waffle. I'm wondering just how spicy this is. 
I'm gonna dig into it though. Oh, it's the waffles. The waffle is nice and fluffy. I don't know if that's uh, I don't know if that's breading on the chicken that was hard to cut through or if there was a bone there, but we're gonna find out right now. There's a hint of chocolate with that. I don't know what this is. <coughs> Holy! <coughs> What's on that waffle? Wow! That waffle's got a super kick, man. These are tamales. Oop! I'm dropping soon. I'll get it. I'll get it. Here, let me get this off of here. These are. I'm trying to get a tamale off the plate. These are. Let me think. Eric, give me a nick. Yep. Mm. Yeah, Nick's looking at me because I'm trying to film and get the tamale out, but that's what the tamales are. Some kind of chicken tamale. I don't know what part of that chicken and waffle is spicy like it was, but her literally made me choke. I think it's these red things. No. What's the chicken I just bit into? The waffle part? The waffle's good. Diablo salsa, cinnamon sugar, dusted mini waffle. I don't know. Whatever's in the chicken is it's hot. Yeah. That, I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, it just came out. It was like wow. All right, so let's get into the chicken. Um, this is a chicken tamale. It's pretty spicy. Want to try it? Okay. Chicken, chicken. What do you think about that chicken? A little spicy for you? Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 really it's got a good kick to it. It's it's that spicy that lingers in your mouth for 20 minutes when you're done eating it. This right here is a breakfast enchilada. Yeah, let me grab one off there. We're just kind of like mixing everything on the same plate. Uh, this has a little spice to it too. I can taste in the sauce. The last three things that came out all has really a spicy kick to it. And some nice little mini pancakes. We are just ravaging everything they bring out here. It's totally getting chowed down. On the other table as well. I think there's 24 people here. There was. I don't know how many I clear. I'm going to eat my pancake like a taco. Mm. That syrup they used on the pancakes? Really, really. Yeah, raspberry syrup is really good. It's a little tart. Sweet, really good. Mm. Mm. It's more tart. Really good, though. It's got a lot of flavor. Oh. Okay. You know, no evil like these waffles. The Border Brunch is about $45 per person, and it is a hodgepodge of everything on this menu. And you can order separate for yourself, like Rosie got her own steak and egg little breakfast. She liked it a certain way. She's not really into beans, so she got it her way and she's already eating it, so it was pretty good, huh? This is the video and eggs, and uh, people just keep handing me food. I got another, it's either a tostada or a breakfast taco. I got the video and eggs, and then I got the, the churro tot, which is a, a tater tot that's actually a churro. I know it comes in small portions, but there's been so much food at the table that there's no way you're gonna leave these these brunches hungry. This is no way. <laughs> Alright so this is a chicken style breakfast taco. Um this is freaking delicious right here. This is so good. <laughs> this I chicken or is it chicken? 
I don't know what it is. It's really, really good. It's mystery meat. This is my favorite thing I've had. This right here. The last thing, the sparkling churro ball. <laughs> it is. Actually, it's, but it's that dull sweet to where it's not like bite your head off. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Nick is leaving. He has to head to work. I gotta, I'm not, you know, I gotta go to work today. I don't know you slackers are drinking during the day on Sundays. I, I gotta go to work. Slackers! <laughs> Have a good one, bro. This is Frank. Thank you for the awesome lunch, man, or the brunch. I appreciate you. You're welcome, my friend. Appreciate you. Our awesome host right here, Joseph Quattrone. And Frank, your cousin? No, it's my boyfriend. That's uh, Chris's son. Gotcha. He's a good kid. We invite you here. We want you to have a good time. That's all that matters. All good friendship. Exactly. Yeah. All the people at all these tables that was here, and there was a lot. Of, how many people were here? Like 20? 21. 21 people were here. And all of these people met each other through a YouTube channel. And that's what's pretty cool is how YouTube creates these communities like this. Hey you. Thank you so much. You are yep. so welcome. Appreciate you having us for this. I already thank Joe. And no worries. Well, so it means no, a lot. It really means a lot myself. to us. We're so glad we could do it. <laughs> Appreciate you. Great. And we'll see them again on Wednesday plus uh, just, just everything. All the things. <laughs> I guess Vegas hot weather's here. A pool is full. That was an amazing lunch. And as you can tell, everybody's leaving without me. But it's because I have a camera, I gotta stop and look at everything. So I wanna come back and check out Citizens, but I don't know what they serve here. So let's go over here. Damn it. I hate it when they have a QR code for the menu. Well, if you guys want to know what they serve as citizens, check out that QR code right there. Looks pretty good. Looks like a good breakfast. 7 to 11, lunch 11 to 3, dinner 5 to 11 p.m. So come check it out. So is this seriously the logo for Swingers Mini Golf? I mean, check it out. Really? What are we doing here? Are we golfing? What kind of clubs are we playing with? And who's gonna wash my balls? Yep, I'm back to where it all began. Quick video I know, I just wanted to get it in real quick. It's a place I haven't been to, and a casino I haven't been to in years and years and years. Um, had a nephew that used to work here as a valet. But I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely, definitely come check out the grill. It was awesome. The food was amazing. See you guys all in the next one.